Hello everyone, Trip Zero here. Hope everyone is doing well. I want to uh, do a quick build video, but uh, more more talking and, and less building. I'll probably building. I'll cut out uh, I'll cut out some of the uh, content just because I've done builds with floodlights before. But I want to take this uh, floodlight, which is a 10 watt, and I want to put, which is really small and cute by the way way smaller than that 50 watt one i did in a previous video i want to put this in it this is a far red 740 nanometer led and i've been wanting to do this for a while my initial research uh months and months ago um, suggested that far red could uh, help produce more flowering um, i was doing so so i i finally broke down and, and uh, purchased one of these for about 13 bucks on eBay. Um, but doing more research in preparation for this video, I find out that uh, Far Red has other uses in tomato plants in particular that are pretty beneficial. Um, before we go into those details, let, let's get started building and I'll just kind of talk as, I, as we're going. Put that aside and we'll start unscrewing this. So a few weeks ago, our last one of my last videos was a, a blue LED and it was a, a royal blue and the, the idea was that blue lights could help uh, in seedling increase uh, growth during the seedling stage. Um, that actually may not be true at all. I'm still in the process of conducting an experiment, waiting for my seedlings to pop up so I can blast it with the blue light and a red light, or a regular grow light, I should say. Um, but um, that may not be true at all, that blue lights help with uh, seedlings. Studies that uh, I, I came across suggest that blue lights in tomato plants actually produce shorter plants so that's kind of interesting um, they may some studies and and of course with everything in science there's always a conflicting study or a study that thinks uh, comes to a different or opposite conclusion um, another study suggested that uh, blue light can help open the stoma of a plant and that's the respiratory glands I guess you could say or that's uh, opens up some cells called the stomata in tomato in plants and increases respiration of uh, CO2 and oxygen so I'm not sure which which is true but if it's true that they produce shorter plants that'll be interesting so probably won't help in the seedling side of things um, they're saying that red, if it's just a red light in the visible range, you know, between, what, six, 600 and uh, 700 nanometers, that it will promote growth. And one of the studies said, uh, did just pure red light and pure blue light and pure green light. And the, green, the red one had the most growth, the green one had the least growth, and the blue one, you know, was kind of somewhere in the middle. This is very interesting. <laughs> very interesting inside. This is my first time opening up one of these 10 watt. It's just resistor. Uh, I'm thinking you just, yeah, it's probably, this is probably 12 volt and it's probably not a D, there's no D, AC to DC converter. Yeah, there we go. DC 12 volt. So that's why there's a couple resistors in here to protect the uh, module from overcurrent. Anyway, um, back to the red light. So red light they use, they said red light, the growth in tomato light, uh, the tomato plant just using the red light was equivalent or very similar to the, su the, the sun. So, or the plants in the sun. So that's, that's rather interesting. Another, so what about far red? Um, one experiment that I read with far red and seedling production showed that um, just using it at the end of day 
for about 12 minutes right before all the lights go off they were using uh, an experiment they used uh, t5 fluorescent lighting and to supplement that they on some of the plants they uh, blasted it with the far red led for only 12 minutes right before all the lights went off and the the plants that were blasted with the far red light were 20 millimeters uh, more growth or longer stem than the the ones without. So it definitely increased seedling growth in in that experiment. Um, and I'll put links to these uh, these studies in either the blog or or the uh, or the the video description. Let's remove that. So um, other let's see other studies show that far red light can um, help reduce or eliminate side shoots. Uh, I didn't read the full study because it, I had to pay for it. I might save that resistor, not throw it away. But that was the I read, that was in the abstract. I'll put a link to it as well. Without, I mean, the side shoots or suckers uh, is another word for them. So let's see how well this should just like fit right in, and it does. Perfect. Okay, so looking good. All right, I'm going to pause it here and uh, I'm going to solder this all up. You probably don't want to watch that again and uh, I'll be right back when I get when I get it on. And we're back. So I've uh, I've glued this power supply in. This is a Drock, um, what is it? A 36 volt to adjustable uh, voltage regulator. I got an Amazon for about uh, six bucks. Um, and uh, I've adjusted the voltage down to about six volts. Uh, well, actually five, 5.1 I believe. And connected up the LED and this is the test. I haven't brought this LED online yet so I'm gonna do that live so that could always be fun and so let's get let's get to it. So if you've noticed before it had this uh, green film or blue film sorry colorblind blue film across the LED just to protect it it does look somewhat red Kind of a dark red. I don't know if you can see that very well, but so let's plug it in. I've got I'm I'm using a 12 volt power supply. I've got my kilowatt right here, so I can measure the wattage that I'm using. So let's plug it in, and wow, it's six six volt or five volts. Let's measure that. Make sure it's it is what we think it is. We have all the LEDs coming on. Yeah, 5.1, and that's what I had it set at. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this down. One good test for LEDs is uh, if they all come on consistently at the same voltage, because there's nine of these uh, one watt uh, LEDs in and probably um, three of them in series to bring it up to uh, 12 volts. So let's. Uh, uh, so the the test is to see if it's a good LED is if they all come down on the same voltage. I think I already said that. So I'm going to reduce this down and just kind of. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a little bit of flickering and. There, there we go. They're completely off right now. So 
looks like they start coming on right about there and they do look pretty even um, or I can't see that at all but they look pretty even this one in the upper middle looks a little dimmer yeah it looks slightly dimmer I wonder if it's it's not dirty so yeah there's little black markings but anyway let's let's bring this up brighter so right now we're at one watt Three, five watts, six watts. So let's take it down a bit and measure our voltage. Four watts right now. Oh, let me turn it off. Five point five volts. Three point nine watts. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's over 10 watts right there. And it doesn't look very bright. Of course, if you stare at it, you will start to see red. So we're at over 10 watts right now. 10.3. And only 5.9 volts, wow. That's interesting. I will observe this for a while and uh, make sure um, make sure it doesn't go too high but that's pretty much it I'll put the enclosure back on and that'll be that um, also I'll, I'll put it back together and I'll be right back we are back and this is the result it's uh, warm, not too warm, not hot, but uh, it's running at about 10.3. For the most, most of the time, it was running at about 9.4. So it's getting a little warmer as it, um, um, yeah, getting a little warmer as time goes on. Um, next time, we're going to do this guy. I ordered two of these cases. This is a 365 nanometer UVA light. And I'm going to do a build, and stay tuned, uh, we'll talk about why you might want UVA for growing something, uh, for growing things, maybe not tomatoes, but other things, uh, legal things, of course. And yeah, if you're interested in this, or any of the other lights that I've done in the past, I'm, putting, I'm starting to put these up on uh, tripzero.io, the store. I've got a store there now. That, uh, you know, people have asked me, you know, why don't I put some of this stuff online so, you know, people can buy them. If you don't want to build them, you can, um, now there's a place to go to, to get these, uh, tripzero.io. So if you're interested, let me know and uh, I'll, I'll build you one and uh, ship it to you as soon as I, I get your order and it'll be awesome. Let me know how it goes um, if you do end up doing that. If not, uh, I'll let you know how mine goes, and um, that's that. So this far red, 10 watt LED grow floodlight. Trip zero out.